Hey everyone, welcome back to Fish of Hex. Today we're going to do a four month update video. So the tank is actually four months and three days old. And uh, it looks pretty good. I just actually just wiped the glass so it's a little, I stirred up some of the, the stuff off the bottom of the tank so it's a little cloudy. If you remember I used to have that big ball of green star polyp so I removed that once it started growing on the glass here and replaced it with some new dry reef rock. Um, I don't think green star polish should be taking up that much real estate in such a small tank. Well, it's it's 125 gallons, but it's at this point it's 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 small. And if you see the Monty there, I actually have a piece of it and died. I tried removing it and then broke off a piece of the coral. So it's uh, it is what it is. And we'll get into the fish here in a second. More greens birds nests, of course. Let's start getting rid of that. Just got that green digitata. This guy has to stay back here by himself because he likes to sting everyone. So, a couple things have changed. If you see, I got the hippo tang. She was in hypo solidity for about six weeks. Finally got her out. I also have a green, he's not gonna come out now. Or not green, but a black yellow tailed chromis. I got it for like a dollar twelve, so I'm not mad about that. And he actually made it through quarantine just fine. And unfortunately the powder brown did not make it. But she's doing pretty good. She's eating. And unfortunately last night my Melanoris ras died. I found him in pieces this morning on the on the bottom of the tank. So I know it's not the eel, because the eel would have actually eaten all of him and not just you know spit out the pieces but uh, I have no idea why he died he's been eating like a horse and um, I don't know he just was dead this morning and uh, anyways I added a few things one I added a block of marine pier it's actually the overflow so it flows down and uh, I've heard some good reviews and uh, hey it's worth a try to see how it does so that's been in there for about a week Took out a bunch of macroalgae. And then here is the new dosing system. It's actually not new, but I added another pump. I'm doing the reef color program. Okay, so I just got the 100 milliliter bottles. So right now I'm dos dosing two milliliters a day because um, I dose about 90 milliliters of calcium and alkalinity a day. So based on that amount, two milliliters is what I need to replenish. So I have that up onto one dosing pump top one and then my alkalinity magnesium all like this stuff is on the bottom one and they all come over to here to these dosing it's, I actually got these um, holders on eBay for like seven bucks shipping is free it comes from China it takes a little while but it works finally at the max bio pellets and I do have 125 gallons worth in there and uh, I, it, I did do it over about a two and a half month period, so I didn't have any issues with that. Got to change the filter socks, and those are obviously homemade. I gotta probably make a few more of those. Now that's two Jabo dosing pumps there. I added a third one in here, and I actually am now running water into the refrigerator down here to these four nozzles. And then everything gets dosed into these nozzles and then pushed up through the tank, through the sidewall, which you can't see, obviously, and back into the tank. So I'm using a JBO for that. I have one free pump that I was um, using, and now that's just sitting around. I'll probably do something else. Now, what I have on there is I have my Reef Multivitamin, and then I have the Reef Energy Program from Red Sea. Now, I know for a fact that I'm not dosing the recommended amount. Um, for a tank my size, it's it's going to be too expensive for me personally to really invest in something like that. But I'm doing two milliliters a day of each, just like uh, the bread, the color program. And I just come in here and shake them up every once in a while, you know, just to keep them mixing. But they're refrigerated and they dose in, you know, they always stay refrigerated and they dose into the water line and there's no issues with that. Regular food, it's the fridge. So yeah, that's what's changed what's new and again the tank is only four months old and uh, see great success in it so far now I'm pretty excited I'm actually starting we might as well go into here 
starting a little project per se. Now this is just a 20 gallon tank. These are just cheap lights I had on there. Uh, I took the rim off just to see how to do it. And I actually used a, what was it? A soldering iron and actually melted the plastic and then split it in half. Now a lot of people don't like to do this, but I have it on a good surface and uh, yeah. But anyways, I'm tossing this tank, getting another one because I had copper in this one, so I'm not going to use it. But what I'm actually doing is I'm setting up a mini Zeovis system. So I have my protein skimmer, return pump. This is a 20 gallon tall tank as well. So I'm going to put the Zeovit reactor here and then um, I'm just going to run a Zeovit system. It's going to be cheaper to run it on 40 gallons opposed to 120. And I want to see if I like it before I actually invest into putting it on the big tank. And honestly, I probably won't end up using it for this tank, the 125, because I will be replacing this tank with a 300 within the next year. So I'll probably end up doing that. Now, um, through some friends, I can uh, get a Zeovate reactor f you know, for under 100 bucks. And also, um, I'm probably going to get most of my additives on bulk resupply. So I'm just going to do the basic four and see how that goes. And I'm just going to run Acros and Montes in there and see how and see how the actual color difference is between running bio pellets with their color program and actual Zeovit. Now, I don't know if you can really see on here, but uh, you know the color is is good. I mean, I like it, but I want more. I want it to look different. I want it to pop more, and um, I think I'll be able to get that with a Zeovit. I'm pretty excited to to try it out and there's been a lot of great success stories but uh, we'll see how that goes and I'll keep you guys updated and uh, yeah so this rock I want to go back to it so I just got this from my buddy it's, it's free no problem and I'm just going to use it to put acros on there I'm going to trim and frag off pieces of that gorgonian so it's not touching the rock and uh, sell it to some friends or whatever give it away and uh, you know add some more more frags on it to better use that, uh, that space that the green star polish was on so guys, that's the update video. Appreciate you watching, and I will um, see you guys later, and we'll talk about some more stuff later.